John Dummerie, you found me. It feels like a Friday. He seems to be in a good mood tonight. Beautiful. So tell me, are you here to make things right again? Beautiful. I have some good news for you. My Sunday friend is visiting me tonight. I told him about you and he'd like to say hello. Step in. He's already waiting. Trust me. You do. That's nice, but I don't have anything to tell you. It's my friend you're looking for, not me. He takes another drag of his unfiltered cigarette and looks around. It's getting dark and the neighboring windows have lit up one by one. Downstairs, a cat crosses the yard, disappearing into the bush. Besides, I've got to run. He's going to leave you alone again. That's sad. Something tells you you're never going to talk to an individual this cool or mysterious ever again. Just look at it. It's a beautiful night. Who's going to stay in on a night like this? Something flutters in the corner of the lieutenant's mouth as you're saying those words. We'll talk. Just not tonight. Take care, all right? Different, of course. His shirt. His shirt. His shirt. No, I don't know why his shirt is always unbuttoned. Different, of course. You like talking to him. It made you feel special. Different, of course. Something so mysterious about the way he talks. Very. Different, of course. He smells good. He smells good and that's weird. He's barely holding it together. It's all he can do to keep from bursting out in laughter. Come on, detective, let's go. We've got a potential witness to interview. His Sunday friend, remember? <laughs> 